This week on Three Scenes, Two Massholes and One Beer. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Right here, dude. And Sierra Nevada Torpedo. Stay tuned, fuckheads. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. How are you fun-loving bastards? All right. Today, we look at three scenes from one of my precursors into hours of porn. I have cranked my wank too. Um, I'm so glad we picked this one. Oh, me too. Besides the obvious pool scene, I will obviously feature in our shitty little show. This was a great, great flick. So many stars, Phoebe Cates, Sean Penn, Jennifer Jason Lee, Nicolas Cage, Judge Reinhold, not to mention an appearance by Nancy Wilson from Hot. Oh, I love her. Good tunes also. We also have a makeup beer in Sierra Nevada Torpedo. Yeah, my bad on that one. No shit. You don't have to be a wicked dick about it. So, simplest overview of Fast Times is sex, drugs, and rock and roll of the 80s. Seen through the eyes of Ridgemont High students. You're getting good at this. I'm a fucking legend, John. Yeah, okay. So, first scene, what I call the masturbation masterpiece of my teen years. And again. And again. And again. Tom, seriously. Put it back in your pants. Sorry, little Tommy wanted to go for a walk. Walk that shit out somewhere else. I was just trying to showcase how Judge Reinhold's character feels when she catches him. Whacking one out in his pirate uniform. One, Freepy Cage isn't actually getting out of the pool. Two, you don't have a pirate uniform on. Never again will I wear a pirate uniform since Brady and Gromp, you know, became butt pirates. True. And three, you have no shame. You would have probably chased her out of that bathroom, dick in hand, asking her to talk dirty to you. Honestly, she could just scream insults at me. I'd be good. You are easily satisfied, aren't you? Keep your expectations down. You'll never be disappointed. It's a quality I look for in a companion. Um, I'm not even sure what to say about that. Next scene. Uh, uh, okay. Mike Damone. In the 80s, we all had a Mike Damone. He was the guy... Who could get your concert tickets, etc. But only Damone had these five tips. First of all, Rat, you never let on how much you like a girl. Okay, I'm not very good at number one. You, you can barely keep your dick in your pants. At some point, you may like jail. You get wake up sex there. Pound me too. Now that's the spirit. Two, you always call the shots. Always call the shots. Again, you'll get called out for rape. I think only if you hold them down, Tom. If you're like, hey, we're going to the movies, it still kind of works. You may be right. I'm a fucking animal. No wings have to battle, Tommy. Uh, three. Act like wherever you are, that's the place to be. Isn't this great? It's not so bad. Because the place to be for me is the bar. So I don't even have to act. Not getting laid too much either. You are? True. Let's move on. Four. When ordering food, you find out what she wants, then order for the ball field. Ordering's pretty classy, but some bitches don't want you to even do that anymore. Never mind even fucking holding the door. I don't get it. Being polite is just a common courtesy. Now it's a fucking crime. And five comes down to making out. Whenever possible, put on side one of Led Zeppelin 4. I have Zeppelin, and 4 is great. But I try to date in the 20s age range, so they like the other side of Bieber or some shit like that. You're getting up there in age, Tom. Don't you uh, look for a mature woman? They're too smart for me. Enough said. Okay, final scene. Spick Oli. Right here, dude. This dude is fucking hilarious. It's a way of life. Of all the other parts Penn has played, this is my favorite. Ha <laughs> I like his interaction with Mr. Hand. If I'm here and you're here, doesn't that make it our time? That's funny shit. I like my interactions with my Mr. Hand. Oh, you're gross. Like you don't shake hands with the unemployed. Yeah, but I don't feel the need to share with people every two fucking minutes. I'm a sharer, John. Obviously. It all builds to the pizza. Certainly there's nothing wrong with a little feast on our time. Mr. Hand has the last laugh. I'm poor Spicoli. Mr. Spicoli has been kind enough to bring us a snack. Be my guest. 
Get a good one. Okay, go for it. What do we have for a rating first for a beer? This is a good hoppy beer. I like it. It's kind of a go-to beer. Whenever I'm not sure what I want, but I want a hoppy IPA, I get torpedo. I'm going with three and a half mugs. Yeah, I drink a lot of this. Some days it gets me drunk, some days it doesn't. I'm going to go three mugs myself. Now, on to the movie. The movie's love of my life. I want to give it a perfect score of five beers. Growing up at the same time frame as this movie, it also brings back memories. But like my pickup lines, it dates itself in some areas. It's still a classic, Tommy. Oh, absolutely. But I'm going with a solid four. I love it. My VHS copy was worn at the pool scene. But comedy-wise, there were some better ones out there in these days. Okay, I really love this flick. I'm giving it a perfect five. I was a drunk, fat kid at the back of the class. This cast of characters definitely was part of my high school. Okay, so I got a date with a bar stool. I'll give you a pick, but let's stick with comedy. Wedding crashes? I was gonna go with 40-year-old virgin, but sure, I like wedding crashes. Okay, bye, people. You didn't even give a beer. I'm not letting you change my pick. Fuck, I'm throwing a curve. Since we're doing wedding crashes, we're going with the champagne of beer. Miller High Life. Uh, uh, oh, hey, that's fucking terrible. Later, shitheads. Bye, people.